Hey buddy, Standard here. We got our sixth episode of our Columbus Blue Jackets franchise mode here on the PS4, guys. In the last episode, we went and did the uh, the first round of the playoffs against the Philadelphia Flyers. As you can see, we did take them down. You can still go check out that episode because it was pretty hype. And uh, we took them down pretty convincingly. They were the President's Trophy winning team. So, um, I mean, maybe it was a bit of luck that got them there. I mean, maybe they're a good season team, but... Either way, now we actually probably have a bigger challenge in front of us, at least uh, overall team-wise. Uh, we got the Pittsburgh Penguins that we got to go up here in round two. Um, yeah, Pittsburgh, Crosby, Kessel, Malkin, all those guys. Man, it's going to be tough. So let me go. Let, you know what? Let's just go straight into it, and we'll go see what their team's looking like, if they have made any trades. Oh, my gosh, 94 offense, 93 defense, and then that goaltending at 89. So I'm wondering who they're choosing to be their goalie. I know that I think Flurry was on the trade block um, earlier on in the season, but it'd be interesting to see if they are rolling with him right now. But uh, they got Patrick Hornquist. P I was gonna. Why was I? I was gonna say Peter Peter uh, Crosby. Maybe going off of Patrick, but what the heck? Sidney Crosby, uh, 95 overall. He's lit. Uh, Phil Kessel, 90 overall. That's a really just overpowered first line second line is connor sheary evgeny malkin uh gino and uh brian rust so that's actually a really solid um second line as well brian rust has a really good offensive stats he's really developed quite well uh connor sheary as well he has good offensive stats so he'll be pretty fine alongside of a 93 overall evgeny malkin so yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough offense to shut down uh, Carl Hagelin, Nick Benino, and Chris Kunitz. So Kunitz is nearing the end of his career, but they're trying to try and go win another cup with him. They got Hagelin and Benino on that third line. It's a very strong third line. Um, and then their fourth line, Oscar Sundquist, Matt Cullen, and Eric Fair. A bit of older guys there. Actually, Fair's potential is down there, but I mean, he's still 82. So uh, fourth line, solid. I mean, that offense is just over overall-wise, like just, just killer with Crosby and Malkin and all those guys. Uh, their defense, Oli Mata, Chris Letang, uh, Trevor Daly, and Justin Schultz, and then Brian Dumoulin and Ian Cole. So their defense, aside from Letang, who is injured, if we can get him injured for the like the whole playoffs, if we can have Der uh, David Clarkson go and just like destroy him, that would be awesome. But um, uh, aside from that, I mean, aside from Letang, their defense is just overall solid. Uh, especially their depth lines. They're not really lacking too much right now because they don't have too many cap problems. It'll just come up uh, later on. Uh, Matt Murray, 22 years old, 88 overall, medium elite potential. He is just, yeah, he is insane. He's developed very nicely. And Marc-Andre Fleury, they still got as their uh, their backup, but uh, I, I could see them definitely trading him. I think he was. I think he's going to be on the trade block uh, closer to the deadline, uh, or sorry, not the deadline, the draft. That I could see that. Um, being a possibility, and I wonder if any team will uh, actually have the cap space and the and the roster space to trade for him because that could probably help uh, Pittsburgh out a lot. Because then they have a young goalie in Matt Murray. They got some solid D man, uh, younger guys in Schultz, and he's just entering his prime. Matt is twenty two. Chris Letang, but uh, he, I mean, Letang will be there for a while. They still got all these big guys in their prime for at least at least. Probably the a max. I mean, five, six years before they really start dropping off. But like next three or four years, they'll be they'll be just be stellar. Um, they also have some young forwards there. So I mean, overall, it's still the Pittsburgh Penguins we know today. So um, yeah, I mean, it's year one, right? There's not much going to change. So and they don't really have too much. I mean, they don't have cap problems, but they don't really have the cap space to necessarily make any other moves. But I mean, they still got a stacked team, and we're gonna have to to shut them down definitely. Um, the thing I like about our team is last uh, in the last episode when we played Philadelphia, we were getting lots of offense. Um, our defense was like phenomenal though, um, because we were getting so like like we were so little goals were going on us. We weren't like killing it offensively, but you look at this: uh, no goals for, uh, one goal against. Sorry, no goals against, and then no goals against this game, and then uh, two goals against in these two games. And uh, then in four periods, Bobrovsky allows three. But I mean that, that I mean that was Philadelphia wasn't going to get swept. I can tell you that they they did, definitely didn't win the President's Trophy just to get swept. They were they were a pretty so strong team. And I mean all these games, most of these games were actually pretty close. But we were able to get offense, which uh, it helped it out. Um, but Pittsburgh, they're going to be a tough team to shut down, possibly even more than Philadelphia. But their defense, it's not like and their goaltend. I mean. 
it's it's really solid but i mean if you're looking for a weak point you gotta expose their their uh their weaker defensive uh pairings um and their and their offensive guys i mean that second pairing with justin schultz as an offensive defenseman and daily um i don't think he's the fastest defenseman that's a good line to get lots of offense on and then dumoulin and cole just because they're the bottom pairing they might be solid defensively but i mean you're not going to be scoring too much on Latang. i can tell you that um, on offense, I mean, their depth lines are probably exposable, but, I mean, it's going to be tough. They, they, Phil, Pittsburgh's got a good team. So if we get knocked out in the second round, in the second round, I'm, I'm not speaking English today, but um, if we, you know what, if we get knocked out in the second round, then, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but uh, I, I am somewhat optimistic about this team because we did just knock off the President's Trophy winners, so uh, we'll have to see how that works out. Um, I did actually miss the team meeting. I'm wondering if anybody was, like, screaming at the uh, screaming at their uh, device or the, or the screen at me, like, oh, my gosh, team meeting. Uh, we're going to keep up with the demanding, uh, the demanding team meeting. we got to get offense, guys. That's all i got to say. Once again, uh, positive morale, I mean, demanding, has usually worked for us in the past. Now, the thing will be can i mean now just as much of getting offense i mean on this even probably possibly even strong i'm gonna say this is a much stronger defensive core that pittsburgh has plus they have all those extra offensive studs so there there are gonna be the better team uh than philadelphia was but i mean more the challenge for us we got lots of experience now we're in the second round and you know what we're four and one in the playoffs let's keep it up and let's come out strong. I mean, if we can get this, if we can take these first two games, or even this first game, uh, but if we can start uh, just getting momentum early on, then there's no reason we can't beat a team like Pittsburgh because we do have a great team here in Columbus as well. So, guys, here we go. Game one, first period, and no offense from either team. So a bit more of a defensive uh, defensive. Uh, start to the series which uh, i'm okay with we are a defensive team but the thing is we should be getting some offense on this team because pittsburgh they have tons of offense and i know they do have a strong defense but you got to expose them somewhere so come on guys let's get some offense second period and okay so brendan solid sod and uh ian cole each getting a goal for their team uh, I'd like to get some more offense, but I'm glad that Saad started scoring, so that's nice to see. Come on, boys. we got 15 minutes left here. Penalty kill. This is a big kill here, boys. There you go. Come on. So we get some more shots here. We haven't got a shot for 10 minutes. Come on, guys. Brendan Saad, Dubinsky, penalty kill. Oh, it's a long one. Come on, boys. Let's shut it down. There you go. We can get a late one here, Columbus. Let's go. Get some offense. Penalty kill. Kill it off. Holy crap. Three penalty kills. Wow, the refs are not giving it to us. Come on. Overtime. One goal can be the difference from a one nothing series lead for us or for them. Come on, boys. Penalty kill again. This guy, stop taking penalties. Five on three. How do you not score? Holy crap. Come on, guys. Atkinson. Guys, we got to score. Come on. Get a goal here against Pittsburgh. Come on. Kill it off. What the heck are the... What are we, it, it, okay, the refs can't be that bad. It must be like Clarkson. He's being a goof. Come on, guys. Get some offense. Who's going to get the goal? It's going to a second overtime. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. Let's get the goal. Let's get the goal here. This would be huge. Who's going to step up? Ryan Murray. There you go. Game one OT. Wow. Ryan Murray. He steps up big time. He he wants to prove that he was not a second overall bust. He's not getting traded, boys. He's, he's solid. I mean, he's a young guy. I wasn't really ever considering trading him. It's just like, I mean, we have lots of defensemen here. And you guys are considering talking about trading a defenseman, but we can't focus on that. We are having a solid team that's doing very well right now. And why can't we win it now? Why can't we win this Stanley Cup in year two? Okay. Or sorry, year one. Why can't we win the Stanley Cup in year one? I mean, we have a solid team and our defense is stacked, especially our forwards. Like, we have so many two-way forwards. We can shut Pittsburgh down. If we can get a couple goals here in each game, I you know what? We won that first game 2-1. We can we can win these low-scoring games. Come on, boys. Let's come out flying this time. I want to get some more offense from you guys. Don't leave it all to Bobrovsky, okay? First period of game two. And Scott Hartnell gets a goal, but Patrick Hornquist on their top line gets a goal. Come on, guys. I need more offense, more shots. Second period. And, oh, Carl Hagelin. Their depth is starting to score now. Come on, guys. We got to get one. We got to tie it up. Can we get a goal here, boys? Get some more shots. We are struggling in the third period. Pittsburgh always outplays us. And Phil Kessel gets a goal. Come on, guys. There you go. Nick Foligno, he steps up. The captain. 
He gets a clutch goal there. It's one goal game. Come on, boys. Keep on getting shots. We can beat Matt Murray. He's a young guy. He doesn't know how the playoffs work yet. Even if he has won a cup. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal. Brandon Saad. Someone step up for Columbus. And come on. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so you know what? We weren't very offensive in that game. That was a problem. We may need to eventually make line changes, but you know what? We're still, we're still playing pretty strong. And, I mean, you can't win them all. Pittsburgh is going to – they are going to tie that one up. Uh, but you know what? We're coming. We're coming uh, to to get home ice advantage now, and we have a one-one series lead or a one a one-one series tie that could potentially become a lead. We have home ice advantage. That's huge. Now come on, boys. We got two games at home. Let's come and bring some offense to show off for our fans. Come on, let's get some offense here. We gotta get offense against this team. First, oh my gosh, Jack Johnson agrees. First period, and okay, so Connor Sheary gets one back, and then Cam Atkinson. Oh man, Jack Johnson, I like it. Oh man, okay, here we go, boys. Second period, and oh my gosh, darn it, I was kind of scared there. Uh, Crosby gets a goal, then Gagne steps up, but then Carl Hagelin. I think that's, no, it's not his second of the game, but he's got two in this series. Oh my goodness, we had like six shots on two goals, or two goals on six shots. So, I mean, Matt Murray, he's beatable. Come on, boys, we got to get more offense. Bobrovsky, can you finish strong this game? We're going to need it from you. Come on, our offense can't handle it all, but we got to get a goal here. Penalty kill. Come on, there you go, that's a big kill. There you go, David Clarkson, what the heck is up with him stepping up for offense? That's awesome. Holy crap, boys, let's kill it off. We're a defensive team, we can shut this team down. Penalty kill, kill it off. There you go, that's a huge kill. Pittsburgh's power play is stacked and we're killing it off. That's awesome. Two minutes left, one minute, can we get the victory? And yes, Sergei Bobrovsky stays solid. And we get the 4-3 victory. Wow, one goalie completely outplays the other. And we're able to get offense on Matt Murray. That's huge. That is so huge. David Clarkson with the game winner. What is up with this guy? Oh my gosh, maybe we shouldn't trade him. Maybe we shouldn't trade away his contract. He's playing stellar. Oh man. Wow, this is crazy. This, this is insane. Round 2 is insane. Um, Is there any scouting we need to do? Uh, You know what, I kind of want to go... Uh, I'm gonna go for goalies in the American League because I wanna I wanna take a I mean there could be some goalies potentially there in the in the states because uh, year one goalies aside from the guys we already know um, I think Russia and the states always have made up players so if there's a goalie in the states we could pick up that'd be nice um, that maybe could be uh, somewhat of a extra goalie in case Bobrovsky um, eventually when just in the future just for long term wise. And uh, Corpusello is low elite, so uh, I'll take I'll, I'll definitely scout some goalies there in the states that might help us out for the future. But now, okay, we had we had some partying after that huge win there, but now we got to come back. Okay, uh, got some. Re I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? It's one goal. It's the same thing as like. Oh, never mind. Okay, so let's focus here. Game four. It's we got home ice advantage again. This is going to be a huge game. If we can get the victory here, we can potentially knock out Pittsburgh in five games. That would be huge. But you know what? Just winning the series would be nice. And this game, it would give us so much momentum. That last game gave us so much momentum. We, we I'm pretty sure... No, 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 no. They didn't have the lead that game. But they they definitely worked hard for it. And uh, and our team definitely... I mean, th this is just a really hardworking series. And our team is doing very well. I love it. Um, my X button is not working. I can't, I can't, uh, do anything right there. Can I, uh, let me go back, go back for a second. Florida has beaten Montreal, uh, three nothing in the series. So, uh, potential, uh, third round matchup, uh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Game four X button. Okay. There you go. Sim game. Okay, boys. Game four home ice advantage. Let's come through again for our fans. Get lots of offense here, boys early on as well. We're going to need it consistent, consistently. First period, and there you go! Sam Gagne and Verbata. And we start the second period off quickly. Second period, and David Savard, he gets a third goal. And then Eric Fair, he's trying to spark something for Pittsburgh there. But defense, I know you guys got this. We got a 2 0 lead going to the third period. Pittsburgh's a good team, but you know what? I trust this defense. We can we can shut them down easy. We've been doing so well at shutting the, these big guys down lately. Penalty kill, that's a big kill. Oh my gosh. Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, these teams don't got nothing. We have a solid defense, and Nick Foligno cl clinches it, clinches the win, and there you go, boys. That's a huge win. We even outshot them 37 to 31. That is huge. So much support for our goalie. I'm loving it. We're getting offense now. Guys, we are up 3-1 in the series against Pittsburgh. Let's go. Game five. Let's go straight into it. In Pittsburgh. Okay, we're 1-1 one one in Pittsburgh. 
Why not? Let's you know what? Let's make let's go two and one here, and let's get the win and finish up the series right now. Sim the game, game five against Pittsburgh. Let's go, boys. Let's play clutch here. First period, and oh my gosh, Sidney Crosby. He he listened to my words. Darn it. He's coming up clutch for P Pittsburgh. I mean, they they they're not going down without a fight. They are defending Stanley Cup champions. I completely forgot about that. I just thought of that in my head right now. And you know what? Wow, guys, this would be huge to take him out right now, okay? Let's get this let's get this offense sparked. Let's get some goals on Matt Murray and we can win this game, boys. Borowski, stay solid. Second period and okay, Wenberg gets a goal. Oh, but Crosby and Shear. I didn't actually think about that. Now we're down by two goals. Come on, guys. We got to get offense here. Let's let's play for Bobrovsky right now. He's played so phenomenal these past two series. We need to get some offense for him. 13 minutes, we can still get two goals here. Come on, boys. Felino, the big guys, we got to step up. Let's get some offense. Sod, Verbata, nope. Carl Hagelin's going to clinch it. Three goal, three goal lead, I mean, with six minutes left, five and three, yeah, okay. So we're not going to win them all. Pittsburgh, they needed to get that win. They got it at home, but now the series is 3-2, and we have home ice advantage. This is huge. We need to win it here. Game seven. I don't want it to go to game seven. Come on, guys. We can get the win now. Let's, let's, you know what, let's... Let's play right now. We have to get offense. This is going to be huge. Guys, if we get offense, we will win this game. Guarantee. Because, you know what? The, Bobrovsky is playing. He's played literally way too amazing for him to, to, to start playing not as great now. Offense, help out our goalie. Oh, my gosh. First period. Oh, my gosh. Brandon Rust. Get Brian Rust. Whatever his name is. Come on, guys. Guys, we need offense from our top line players. Come on, help out Bobrovsky. Second period. There you go, Atkinson. He gives us uh, a lot of support there with that extra goal. He, now it's only a one goal lead for Pittsburgh. Guys, we can tie it up here. Let's get a quick goal here, Columbus. Let's go. Atkinson, I haven't seen your name too much. Sod, Clarkson, Felino on the power play. He gets a goal. Penalty kill. Kill it off, boys. Let's big kill. There you go, Boom Jenner. I'm not sure if that's short handed, but he gets the goal. 10 minutes left. We have a chance to win it. Come on, boys. Oh my gosh, Matt Cullen. Get out of here, you goof. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't even be in the NHL anymore. Come on. Two minutes, three minutes, one minute. Come on. Oh, yeah, Felino. Felino. Oh, wow. Nick Felino, the captain. What a stellar performance. He gets another goal. He's been scoring like crazy, and that game was no exception. Wow. We made a 2-0 comeback, and we scored three goals in the third. And now, boys, we're going to the third round. Holy crap, in year one. Oh, man, that's awesome. Wow, and Florida, we're going up against in round three. That is crazy. Wow. Pittsburgh goes down in six games to the up-and-coming Columbus Blue Jackets. Wow, wow, the playoffs are so wild. There's going to be a Stanley Cup winner who hasn't won a cup in a while. Anaheim, Winnipeg, Florida, and Columbus. Three teams haven't even won the cup yet. That's amazing. Anaheim's won once, and now, oh, wow, this is, this is turning out to be a very interesting playoff run right here. Oh, man, we have a chance. Guys, we have a chance right now. All these teams, we just beat the defending cup champions in Pittsburgh. Wash, no, sorry, Chicago's out. San Jose's out. Montreal's out. Like, guys, we could win the cup in year one. There is, this team, this team is 100% capable. Our defense is playing amazing. And that offense lately has been, like, I don't know what it is. We're getting offense now. That's awesome. Felino has four goals. Jenner has four goals, three goals from Rabada. We're getting tons of goal scoring. I love it. Oh, man. Points. Let's see what the points are like. Alexander Wemberg, a young guy, 22 years old. He's getting lots of – he's got three goals in the whole playoffs as well. He's almost – he's close to point per game. We don't have point per game scores, but, I mean, we're shutting down guys like Crosby. I mean, we can't – I mean, it's amazing. That's This is awesome. Wow. And I don't even know if I want to trade a guy like Dubinsky. I don't know if I want – I mean, we're going on such a good run right now. We have such a good team, boys. I love it. Wow. This is – I don't know. I don't know what to say. This is amazing. I'm – I'm. I honestly, I, I didn't – I knew we were capable, but I did not expect for us to be good. Uh, or like, like this – like the third round. We're one of the top four teams in the NHL this year. That's amazing. Goalies. Let's see. Right now, Bobrovsky, oh my gosh, he's going to have insane stats still. 1.74 goals against average, and save percentage is 9.943 save percentage. That's crazy. Only two losses, eight wins. He's playing phenomenal. Wow. 
Okay, we're getting okay. You know what? That's awesome. That's awesome. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta continue to be consistent throughout this playoff series. And boys, I think you know what? Game round three. That that this was a huge, a huge step up for us. We took down Pittsburgh. I that's amazing. I you know what? We 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 could win the cup. Yes, we are boys. Come on. So, anyways. Wow, I, I like I'm stunned for words. My English is not working out <laughs> well this episode, but the team still plays stellar. That's awesome. So, boys, in the next episode, we will be going to face off against the Florida Panthers in round three, and potentially could be going to the Columbus Blue Jackets' first ever Stanley Cup Finals in franchise history in year one of this franchise mode. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.